Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today the 21st of October, Holy Mother, the Church celebrates Saint Hilarion, the Abbot and Confessor. Saint Hilarion was uh, one of the great, the Eastern Confessors. He was born during the second century and at the very age of 15, he joined Saint Anthony the Abbot in Egypt. Uh, the father of anchorites and confessors in Anthony the Abbot. He joined him and under his guidance he spent few months. After which when I, he came back home, he saw that uh, his parents in his hometown Gaza, uh, present Palestine, they are dead. So he, uh, he sold all his property, uh, gave to the poor people and then he went to Manjuma, a place near Gaza, uh, a deserted place. And there he started staying, he started living there. Hilarion's efforts were beautiful. He prayed to the Lord very, very earnestly and he spent a life in desolation. His life was so beautiful and acceptable to God that he, the Lord blessed his life abundantly, he blessed his prayers abundantly and so many people were healed. The demons and the possessions of the demons would just fall to ground at his very presence. That's how powerful he was. And he used to eat coarse meal, one meal a day, and that too in the evening consisting of some vegetables, that's it. And his prayer life was really great. But because of these miracles, people started crowding his place and they used to throng to get healed. And he had so many disciples too. Looking at all this, he did not want all this adulation, all this, all this uh, name and fame. He left everything and he slowly ran away uh, to the different deserts where people didn't know him basically. And that's how later at 69, Hilarius returned to Egypt and he revisited those places which were associated with Saint Anthony the Abbot. And then he returned back. Later he was discovered by few of his uh, disciples. Then again he ran away even from there. And then in renewed search for solitude, he went to Cyprus. And as Saint Jerome writes very clearly in his life of saints, you know, Saint Jerome wrote about saints of his time. So uh, when Saint Jerome writes about him, he writes that he is the first, first non-martyr of the Eastern Church to be named as confessor. So dear brethren, what does Saint Hilarion teach us? Saint Hilarion teaches us to run away when people try to make you king for your talents. He did not want adulation for himself. He did not want uh, false glory, fame, name. He wanted to do the will of God. He wanted privacy with God. Leave me and my God alone, please. Do not disturb. He did public ministry, but still he wanted his personal prayer to be intact. So let's pray. Never tell work is worship. I am doing Lord's work only, no? Even if I pray, don't, no problem. No, never. Prayer is prayer. Work is work. Amen.